This is my most important tip for how to get the most out of your lessons in school. Okay, so listen up. This is a way that you can supercharge your learning. You can make your learning so much more efficient and effective and that you can reach those higher levels. I've been talking quite a lot recently about Bloom's taxonomy and that relates the skills that you'll be tested on in order of difficulty. Essentially, to get the highest levels, you need to be working more often up here at the higher levels of skill. I do this a lot with my classes and it's really effective for getting them to those higher levels of skills. But you don't need to be told to do it by your teacher. You can do this for yourself. It's pre-learning. It's preparing for lessons in advance. Being ahead of the lessons. So the things in the lessons aren't new to you. So you can be getting to grips with the harder parts of the lesson while everyone else is just struggling along with them the getting their head around this new concept. For some reason, teachers like to start the lesson with something to grab the class's interest. Now, that's not really going to be the case for you, because if you're watching my videos, you probably... And then after they've got the class interest in, then they want to spend half an hour explaining this thing. They want to discuss it, they want to take it to bits. And then they're like, oh, oh yeah, and we've got a practical, and they've only got half an hour left to do the practical. And actually, the practical takes time, and the last thing they do is the kids are all packing away in a real big rush. They shout, write your conclusion and do your evaluation for homework. Draw your graph for homework. And it never gets done, and you look at it for homework, and you didn't really get it the first time. You were quite interested in fine, but you didn't really get it, and so you don't get as much out of it. So, yeah, maybe in that lesson, you got some knowledge, you've written some stuff down in your book that kind of makes sense and you kind of understood it, but you didn't really get the chance to apply it to the practical because it didn't really work and it was all a bit rushed. You didn't really get the chance to do the analysis, you haven't got a graph drawn, you don't know what the graph even means if you did get it drawn and you didn't get a chance to conclude it or evaluate it or really think, well, why is that useful and what's the kind of next step, what other science could I do? This is such a simple way to stop yourself falling into that trap and working down there at the lower skill levels. So all I want you to think about doing is before each lesson, think about doing 20 minutes of research. It could be anything. It could be a few YouTube videos on the topic that you know is coming up. It could be just reading the textbook pages. It could be making yourself a list of defini definitions and the equations that are coming up in the lesson. It could be actually writing yourself a method of a practical. It could be looking at some virtual ones. A topic. How are you going to know what's coming up, though, if your teacher's not the type to tell you what's coming up? Well, most teachers follow the kind of textbook order. So just grab yourself a textbook <laughs> or even a syllabus and look what comes next because um, the syllabus are kind of mapped out in a kind of developmental sequence anyway. So if you've got yourself a copy of the textbook or your revision guide, you just think, well, what's next? What's the next page? Oh, especially with the way that this A-level course that we do, the Salters Horners A-level course, is all the kind of class activities are in the book with the instructions on what to do. Okay, there might be a sheet that accompanies that, but certainly I always tell my, my class, make sure you've read up to activity 15, because that's the activity we're going to do in the lesson. And then I'll tell them to do the questions on that kind of bit afterwards and what we're doing next lesson and make sure they're prepared for that. And it means that they're coming in knowing what they're doing and they don't have to sit down and, let, and wait for me to get my PowerPoint ready or play my little video that I've found that's supposed to get them interested. They're already coming in saying, yeah, but sir, how are we going to measure this? Yeah, so the only bit I don't get about the method is this. And straight away, we're into doing the practical and they're, they're actually leading their own learning. And Taking that responsibility is the key thing that you need to be doing to make sure you're getting the highest grades. So take that responsibility, okay, this maximises the impact of your lessons. It maximises the effectiveness of your lessons. Just anything so that you're not spending time in your lessons getting your head around something which is a new concept. You're actually spending more time in your lessons doing the analysis and doing the evaluation stuff doing the harder level skills. So essentially what I'm saying to you is homework before the lesson is more effective than homework after the lesson. Don't just take my word for it, give it a go. I promise you this will change the way you look at your school. It will give you more control, make you more confident and mean that you're going to do better in the exams. And after all, at Guerrilla Physics, Kit Best Masters, that's what we're interested in. You're understanding more, so you get more confident, so you really enjoy your physics, and so you do better in your exams. Thanks a lot for watching. Obviously, lots of my videos will be useful for you for preparing yourself for your lessons, so check them out. <laughs> and they're organized on guerrillaphysics.com in topics. <laughs>